Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll walk you through how to set up the Belkin N300 Wi-Fi range extender in just a few easy steps. Whether you're trying to eliminate Wi-Fi dead zones or extend your signal to another room, this setup guide will help you get started fast. Let's jump right into it. Step one, plug in the extender. Start by plugging the Belkin N300 Wi-Fi extender into a power outlet. For best results, Place it halfway between your router and the area with weak signal. Make sure the spot you choose is still within your existing Wi-Fi coverage. The device's LED light will blink orange if the signal is weak, and green if it has a strong signal from the router. Step 2. Connect to the extender's network. Next, go to your laptop, smartphone, or tablet and open the Wi-Fi settings. You'll see a new wireless network name like Belkin.setup. Go ahead and connect to that. Note. This is a temporary setup network and doesn't require a password. Step 3. Open Setup Page in Browser. Once connected, open a web browser and type in this address, http colon slash slash belkin dot range or 192.168.206.1. This will take you to the Belkin Extenders Setup Dashboard. Step 4. Select your Wi-Fi network. The setup page will scan for nearby Wi-Fi networks. When the list appears, select your existing Wi-Fi network. That's the one you want to extend. Then click Next at. Now enter the Wi-Fi password for your existing router. Double check for any typos, then click Next again. Step five, create extended network, optional. On the next screen, you may be asked to name your extended network. You can either use the same name as your main network, so devices switch seamlessly or add underscore EXT to the end like home Wi-Fi underscore EXT, to know which one is the extender. Click Next to confirm. Step 6. Save and Reboot. The extender will now save your settings and reboot. This can take up to a minute, so hang tight. When the LED light on your Belkin N300 turns solid green, that means setup was successful and it's now connected to your Wi-Fi. Step 7. Reconnect devices. Now, Go back to your phone or computer's Wi-Fi settings and connect to the extended network you just set up. If you use the same name as your main Wi-Fi, your devices might switch automatically. Troubleshooting tips, still not working? Try this. Move the extender closer to your router and plug it in again. Reset the device by holding the reset button for 10 seconds with a paper clip. Then repeat the setup process from the beginning. And that's it. Your Belkin N300 Wi-Fi extender should now be up and running. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech guides. Drop a comment if you have questions. I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.